Good morning, class. Today we are going to write an equation in standard form again, but this time we're given a point and a slope, or two points. So remind you, standard form is ax plus by equals c. Now, now when we're given a point and a slope, we have a different formula. Okay. Now, you guys remember this one. This is slope-intercept. Now, we have a different one. It's called point-slope form. Okay. Stuff should look familiar. For example, your m is still slope. Now, your x1 and your y1 come from the point. Remember when we did slope, we had y2 over y1 minus x, or x, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1? That's where these points come from. But you notice there's only ones, so we only need one point. This x and y do not have little subscripts, so they're going to stay in our equation. So make sure you take good notes. It's, it's a substitution problem. All right, substitution problem. First one. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label this is x1 and this is y1. We only have one point. Remember, x always comes before y. On our point slope form, this is our equation. This will be given to you also, but you just need to know how to use it. Now I'm going to plug in what I know. This y is always going to stay. Okay. Now this y1 is right here. Okay. y1 is 2, so I'm going to plug in a 2. Equals our slope is 4, so I'm going to put a 4 there. This x does not have a subscript, so it's going to stay an x. This x has a subscript of 1, so I'm going to go over here, and my x1 is negative 3. So I'm going to bring down my minus, and then negative 3 is my substitution. All right now here, this is a distributive property. So I have y minus 2 equals, I have to distribute my 4. 4 times x is 4x, and then remember this is minus and negative, so it becomes plus. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay. Now we want this in standard form. My y is good. Now this 2 here, I don't want here. I want that over here with the 12. And then my 4x, I want over in front of my y. So let's go ahead and move the 2. Okay, I'm going to put the 2 under the 12 because that's what I can combine. So I have y equals 4x plus 14. Now I need to get rid of the 4x. I need to move the 4x over here. Remember, when you move that 4x over, it changes signs. Running out of room, sorry. So I have negative 4x plus y equals 14. Again, negative 4x plus y equals 14. That's in standard form. Let's do another one. So again, we have y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Substitution problem. I'm going to label this x1, this y1, and that's m. Okay. So we have the first y stays. Now y sub 1 is a negative 4. Okay, so y sub 1, y sub 1 is negative 4. And I have my equal. My slope is negative 2 thirds. Okay, that x stays. Okay, there's no subscript, so it stays. This one's x sub 1. x sub 1 is 3, so I'm going to put in a 3, bring down my minus, and then 3. Okay. All right, now I have to distribute first. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change that. So we have y plus 4 equals negative 2 thirds times x is negative 2 thirds x, and then negative 2 thirds times a negative 3. Okay. Those cancel. And I'm left with 2, positive 2. Negative 2 times negative 1. Okay. Now I need to move everything over. Remember, my 4 is going to go under my 2, so I have to move that. My x term needs to come over here in front of my y term. So let's subtract 4. So you get y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2. Now I'm going to take my x term and move it over here in front of the y. So it's going to change to a positive. All right, I'm going to move over here. So I have 2 thirds x 
plus y equals negative 2. If you remember in standard form, you cannot have a fraction here. So we need to get rid of the fraction. We get rid of the fraction by multiplying by the denominator. So I'm multiply this by 3. They cancel and I get 2x. I'm going to multiply the y by 3. I get 3y. And then I'm going to multiply the negative 2 by 3 and I get negative 6. There's standard form. Now we're given two points. Okay? We still want to use our same formula, point slope, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. But we're missing something. We have our x and y value, but we do not have slope. So we need to find slope first. If you remember, to find slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So I'm going to go ahead and label my points. And then I'm going to plug in and find my slope. So y sub 2 is 3, minus y sub 1 is negative 3. My x sub 2 is 4, minus x sub 1 is negative 2. Again, this is review. So we get 6 over 6, which is 1. So my slope is 1. Now I want to plug everything back into this formula. Remember your first y is left alone, so y minus y sub 1. Okay, my y sub 1 is negative 3, so I'm going to plug in negative 3 there. Equals, my slope is 1, x, and my x sub 1, okay, which goes here, is negative 2. Okay, let's change those. So I have y plus 3. Now if you look here, this is a 1. Nothing happens when I distribute a 1. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop the parentheses and I get x plus 2. Now I want it to look in standard form. So we need to get the 3 over here under the 2 and my x in front of the y. I'm going to subtract 3. So get y equals x minus 1. And now I'm going to move my x over. I'm going to get negative x plus y equals negative 1. And there's my answer in standard form. Let's do another one. Like this one's the same thing. We need to find slope first. So again, we're going to use our point-slope form because we're given a point and we can find our slope. So slope equals, I'm going to go ahead and label these, x sub 2, y sub 2, x sub 1, y sub 1. Slope equals 2 minus a negative 8 over negative 2 minus 2. Right, so 2 minus negative 8 is 10. And then negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. So I'm getting negative 5 over 2 as my slope. Now I can go ahead and use my formula. Y sub 1, or say y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Now, here you have two points. It really doesn't matter which points you use. Since I have these labeled x1 and y1, I'm going to go ahead and use these points, but you can use those. It does not matter. So we have y minus my y sub 1 is negative 8 Oops. equals my slope is negative 5 over 2 x, and my x sub 1 is 2. Okay, I'm going to distribute and get all my negatives. So y plus 8 equals negative 5 over 2x. Okay, now over here we have negative 5 over 2 times negative 2. My 2's cancel and I end up with a positive 5. Now I have to move everything. So my 8 goes over here to the 5 and my x term needs to come in front of my y. So I'm going to subtract 8 so y equals negative 5 over 2x minus 3. Now I'm going to move my x term. Okay. So I have 5 over 2x plus y equals negative 3. Now again, we have a fraction in front of my x term, so I need to get rid of that. And I do that by multiplying by the denominator. So I'm going to multiply everything by 2. Those cancel, get 5x, now I need to take y times 2 and get 2y, and then 2 times negative 3 and I get negative 6. 
and there's your answer in standard form. You guys have a great day.